This is Shuttle Launch Control. We do have the STS-93 astronauts departing the crew quarters, so coming down the hallway. Crew is... They've been on the same sleep-wake cycle that they will be on during the STS-93 mission. Flight crew now at the 195 foot level out at launch pad 39 being assisted while they're out at the launch pad. In the white room, there's only room for a few members at a time. And this is a view of the orbiter access arm, which is the entryway into Columbia's crew module. Now we're in space during her first flight. Discover once she has all of her connections on have you loud and clear good morning Steve countdown clock will resume on my mark three two one mark T minus nine minutes and counting TOS auto sequence has been Personnel personnel radio net 105 maintain silence on net 105 until negative RTOS verified orbiter every start T minus 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have a goal for engine start, zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia, reaching new heights for women in X-ray astronomy. Roger roll, Columbia, we're looking at. Columbia. Okay, that's complete, Scooter. Roger that, Columbia. Looks like we had a train. Pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. SRB separation is confirmed. Cabbage is the Orlando Sentinel in the front row. What kind of impact is this going to have on Chandra? Uh, since you're seven miles, will this impact that at all? Absolutely I mean none. Our margins in uh, orbital maneuvering engine propellant allow us to raise the orbit to the intended orbit, and there will be zero impact to our customer on this, on this mission. Mike Cabbage? 